We're having a little bit of pre-workout. Not the best pre-workout meal because I'm having oats, protein oats, some blueberries, some dark chocolate, white chocolate, a Reese's cup. Um, and why it's not ideal as a pre-workout is because it's a slow, more like a slow release of energy versus if you have something like a Rice crispy Bear or rice cake that is quick, that is a quick carb source. Ideal before training, but I'm gonna be gone for the whole evening when I go train, I'm staying in the gym because I have clients all evening, so I'm opting for this. And I thought Max was opting to lick his balls, but he's just cleaning himself. So as promised, you're getting a new session. I'm not training, not videoing the upper session again. I was gonna have a rest day, but I was like, you know what? Let's train legs today. I'm training legs. We're training legs, right? Six and a half hours later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're training legs. Okay. Good shit. I drink my coffee black, by the way. The odd time I'll have a flat white, but for the most part, it's black. If that's of any relevance. Today has been very productive so far. <clears throat> Morning clients, done. Everybody's doing good. Home, good breakfast. Did a bit of study. What else do we do? We got some red light in, red light therapy. Got a walk in, edited some content. And I thought, you know, the day's going good. It's supposed to be rest day, but fuck it. Let's go hit legs. And let's hit them hard. Really hard. So we'll see how that goes today. A few moments later. I'm expecting a good session. Last week I trained legs with Kyle and Fionn. And the top set on the hack squat was 150 for 10. Which was a PR for me. So I'll be looking to either get do better than that or match that today. Um, and probably add in another set. I only did two sets last week. There is a debate on, you know, how many sets you need to be doing. Is two sets enough? Honestly, I think two sets for most people is not enough. This is a style of training that was popularized by Mike Menser back in the golden era of bodybuilding, all through the 70s and 80s. It's called HIT training, not H-I-I-T, rather H-I-T, high intensity training. And the idea is to lift extremely heavy for two sets, push yourself to the brink of failure or to failure, and that should be enough to grow muscle. And there is truth to it. It will absolutely work. And I've done it for a long time and I've seen a massive improvement in my physique when I started training that way, when I reduced volume and increased effort. And why I think I've seen an increase in gains is because I wasn't training hard enough. So when you only have two sets to do, you're like, okay, two sets, I better make the most out of these two sets. So it teaches you, it shows you that you can actually train really hard and Training, to, training hard and training to failure is a skill in and of itself. So I got better at training harder and training close to failure from that style of training. With all that being said, volume is a key driver of muscle growth as well. And you are arguably leaving gains on the table if you're only doing two sets. So I've only been doing two sets of hack squat recently. So now I will be looking to increase that to three sets today, and that will fuck me up. Oh yeah, it's about to fuck me up. Okay, we have the first warm-up set done for the Zurch squat and the leg curl. Now I'm gonna to proceed to go into the first set, first working set with the Zurch squat, and I'm going to build the load as I progress through these sets. The Zurch squat, you might ask, what is it, why? Basically, you set the bar in front of your body like this, laying across your forearms and your elbow crease. And why I do it is because I have lower back issues, long story short. So I can't load my spine. When I do, when I've tried to, I 
end up hurting my lower back, which means I'm like somewhat incapacitated for a day or two, which isn't ideal. And plus, it's especially not ideal if you're trying to do other stuff like jujitsu. And if your lower back is sore, then you can't go train jujitsu, or when you go to jujitsu, you're gonna hurt yourself there. So this exercise has been a great substitute for um, the barbell back squat since last year. I absolutely love it. Because it's placed in front of you, the engagement of your core is insane. Usually the next day, my abs, my whole core is in bits after zercher squats. And same with my erectors, the muscles that run on the outside of your spine. I really feel them as well. So it engages those muscles without hurting my lower back, which is why I love it. And plus, it's, a barbell, it's, it's still a barbell squat variation. It's a free weight movement. It's in front of my body, engaging my core. So there might be more of a carryover. It might be. There would be more of a carryover to athletic endeavors, such as jiu-jitsu, from getting strong at a movement such as this. With all that being said, let's get stuck into the first set. So, first two sets done, and I just realized I did my warm-up set for the line leg curl, and then did the 45 re back ascension. <sighs> Should have been the line leg curl, but that's fine. No harm warming up the knee joint with the leg curl, getting blood into the hamstrings before squats. John Meadows was a big fan of that, RIP. He used to love doing hamstring curls start of his leg session to warm up the knee joint before any sort of squatting. So I did 90 for eight, the last set of the zerchers. Now I'm gonna do 100 for six to eight. I am messed up already. <laughs> Light curls now. Super set it with the hack squat. I'm gonna get my warm ups out of the way for the hack and then I'll record the first working set. The leg curl, I'm gonna go straight in 
to this right now. And with the leg curl, I'm looking to emphasize the stretched position. So I'm gonna add a little pause in the stretch, control the down portion, the eccentric, and then an explosive curl up. Um, I find that's a really good way to train your hamstrings on the leg curl. This is a great machine. Okay, I feel sick. And this is the first working set, so. 150 on the hack. This is what I did last week. However, I plan on doing three sets. Let's see how I feel after this. I plan on doing three sets. So it would be silly to increase the load and increase the sets. That's that's a needless progression. If I'm adding an extra set, that's progressive overload in and of itself. I don't need to increase the weight any further. Also, you'll notice this hack squat is banded up and the band, the way it's banded up, it's making it easier for me at the bottom position. So 150 kilos is gonna feel a little bit lighter than 150 at the bottom. And someone asked me on Instagram, why would you use the band? And would, you not, would it not make more sense to just go lighter? Good question. However, it's not exactly the same thing. The band is gonna make this feel lighter at the bottom, but as I push up, because the band is getting pulled less, it's going to be harder and harder. And the reason why we use the band here is because it just feels better on the knee joint on this machine, just in case you were wondering. Now, watch me die. Fifty for eight. Now, one more side of leg curl, and then a back off side of one twenty-five. That's this done. I feel sick. I know I keep saying that, and my legs are so pumped that it hurts to stand and sit down. But we have one more left.
disgusted. This is disgusting. My legs are destroyed. I have to fucking sit in here now. I don't. Let's do it. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, oh, jeez, it's not gonna be good. Fuck. Pretty weird stance but it's the only one that's comfortable for me right now a bit more action in today's video that was a nasty session hopefully you took something from this video and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching